Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the continuity equation. Now, continuity equation is a mathematical expression, okay, to express that the conservation of mass is obeyed or the law of conservation of mass is obeyed during the flow of a liquid or fluid. Now, as we have already studied in the previous lectures that we consider the liquid or the fluid to be ideal fluid. So, when we say ideal fluid, it is nothing but non-viscous and incompressible, right? So, incompressible means their densities during the flow would be same at each and every point as well as we consider the flow of the liquid to be steady flow. So, these are the two conditions, okay? These are the two conditions or three conditions actually that is steady flow, second one it should be incompressible, third one it should be non-viscous. Then only we can state this continuity equation or we can express the continuity equation in the mathematical form. So, let us see what is continuity equation. So, continuity equation is a mathematical expression for the law of conservation of mass that is the amount of liquid entering any cross section during the flow would be equal to the amount of mass leaving the any other cross section of, of the pipe or the cylindrical tube. Okay? So, the area of cross section may vary from one place to another place or from point to point, but if area of cross section is varying, still the mass of the liquid entering at any time interval okay, would be equal to the mass of the liquid exiting okay, or leaving the pipe in any time interval. right? So, let us see what is that. So, continuity equation is a mathematical is a mathematical expression, mathematical expression, mathematical expression for the law of conservation of mass, law of conservation of mass, of mass of a liquid or a fluid, let us write liquid okay, of a mass, I mean law of conservation of mass of a liquid or fluid during, during the flow, during the flow from one point, from one point to another, to another. Okay? So, continuity equation is nothing but is a mathematical expression for the law of conservation of mass of a liquid during the flow from one point to another point. That is, the liquid is flowing in a tube, okay, in a pipe, okay, the pipeline, okay, and the pipeline's area of cross section may vary, may not vary. Okay? So, if it varies also, so from any point to any point, from any point to any point, whenever the liquid is flowing, the amount of liquid entering any one point would be equal to the amount of fluid exiting or leaving the area of cross section or any point in that particular pipeline. So, that is nothing but continuity equation. So, let us see mathematically what does it look like. Now, as I said the mass entering, let us write that is mass of, so when I say mass I mean amount, okay, amount amount of liquid entering entering any cross section any cross section any cross section will be equal will be equal to the to the mass that is amount mass that is nothing but amount of liquid liquid leaving leaving any cross section any cross section i hope you will remember that right okay so now this mathematical expression or the continuity equation is only valid if the fluid is considered to be ideal fluid. That is, it should be non-viscous, 
incompressible and it should be in steady flow. It should be in steady flow. I hope you remember that. Okay. So, let us see what is the mathematical expression. Now, as I said that continuity equation is nothing but a mathematical expression to show the law of conservation of mass, right? The conservation of mass during the flow of fluid or liquid from one point of any pipeline to another point of the pipeline, right? Now, as I said, the pipeline's area of cross section may vary. Now, let us see one picture over here so that you will have a better understanding. Now, over here, as you can see, both the pipes are same, but their area of cross section is varying, okay? So, as you can see, this end, the area of cross section is A1. Over here, the area of cross section is A2, right? Now, since the fluid is flowing, it will have velocity and we we, and we have considered the fluid to be flowing in a steady state, I mean steady flow, right? So, steady flow means the velocity, the velocity of all the fluid particles reaching at that particular point must be same, must be same. Of course, the velocity will vary. That is, if the area of cross section is more, then the velocity will be less. If the area of cross section is less, velocity would be more. We will see that, how we say that, okay? Mathematically, we will see that. Now, as I said, this is nothing but conservation of mass. The amount of fluid entering from this area of cross section would be amount of fluid leaving from this area of cross section. So, we need to follow or we need to obey the law of conservation, right? So, let us see. Law of conservation means let the amount of mass entering through cross section 1 or through area of cross section 1. So, let us consider this one as the cross section 1, okay? And this one as cross section 2, okay? We have shown separately, it is the same pipe actually, okay. So, amount of mass entering would be equal to amount of mass leaving. So, this is entering from cross section 1 and this is leaving from cross section 2. So, as we know, mass is nothing but product of density and volume, product of density and volume. So, let us write density and volume. So, density would be rho 1, suppose, suppose, okay. Since we have considered the liquid to be incompressible, we will apply that later. But as of now, let us write instead of delta m1, the amount of liquid entering, let us write rho 1, that is the liquid's density and at the cross section 1 into delta t. Now, why I am writing delta t, I will let you know because I have already written the density because mass is nothing but product of density and volume. So, volume how will we consider? As you can see, the velocity is given over there in cross section 1 as v1, in cross section 2 as v2 over here as you can see. So, delta t into v1, delta t into v1, okay, this is nothing but the length of that section that is delta x. Let us write delta x1, okay into now area of cross section, area of cross section A1. I am considering a small a, you can write it capital A also, no problem. It must be equal to rho 2 delta t into v2 A2. What is delta t into v2? This is nothing but delta x2, okay. That is the length covered by the fluid in time delta t with velocity v2 okay because v2 is nothing but delta x2 by delta t okay so what can we write delta 1 okay i mean rho 1 delta t delta t gets cancelled so from here what can we write can we write this and of course, remember this A1 and A2 is the area of cross section of the section 1 and section 2, okay? So, this can be capital A1, capital A2 also. You can write it in that way also. It is your choice. So, from here, what can we say? Rho 1, V1, A1 equals to Rho 2, V2, A2. So, if I say that the, the liquid, the fluid which is flowing is incompressible, then we can write since Rho 1 equals to rho 2, therefore, a1 v1 equals to a2 v2 or 
as you can say a 1 v 1 equals to a 2 v 2. So, this is the mathematical form of continuity equation or continuity equation is a mathematical form of law or for the law of conservation of mass during the liquid flow or during the fluid flowing. I hope you got that right. So, if I say a 1 v 1 equals to a 2 v 2 or a 3 v 3 equals to a 4 v 4 equals to a 5 v 5. Okay. So, if I consider all the cross sections okay, from starting to end, if I consider all the cross sections a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6 till a 7, a 8 like that, okay, all the cross sections, then what can I say? or the product of the area of cross section and the velocity of the fluid flowing which is in steady flow would be constant, would be constant. What is that? If I write a 1 v 1 equals to a 2 v 2, it implies, it implies a v equals to constant. What is that? a v equals to constant, right? a v equals to constant. Now, the thing which I was telling you previously that if the area of cross section is more the velocity of the fluid flowing out would be less or in that particular cross section the velocity of the fluid would be less. Why? Because the product must be constant because the product must be constant. For example, if the product constant is suppose 6, suppose 6, then I can write 6 as 6 into 1 also, isn't it? I can write 6 as 6 into 1 also or I can write 3 into 2 also, isn't it? 3 into 2 also. I can write as 2 into 3 also, isn't it? I can write 1 into 6 also. Can I write that? Of course, I can do. But the, over here, what is happening over here? Over here, as you can see, if the area of cross section goes on decreasing, the velocity goes on increasing. Or in this way also, you can consider. If the area of cross section goes on increasing, then the velocity must goes on decreasing. Why? The product must remain constant. Understood? I hope that is clear to you, right? So, if the area of cross section is less, velocity would be more. If area of cross section is more, velocity would be less. The real life example, I hope you people have seen watering the plants in the garden using a pipe, right? So, uh, in order to make the speed or the flow of the fluid faster, right? What do we do? We decrease the area of cross section of the opening of the pipe, isn't it? And when we do so, the velocity of the fluid flowing out becomes more. I hope that is clear to you, right? So, that is the application or that is the real life example of this particular law of conservation of mass that is mathematically continuity equation that is nothing but A into V that is area of cross section of the pipe into the velocity of the fluid at that particular cross section should be constant. I hope that is clear to you, right? So, that was all about continuity equation. I hope you understood. Thank you.